Hey VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. Uh, this is a video response, not quite a, a threat. Well, I guess he said it was somewhat of a threat, but it's kind of a question that um, James Griffith put out there. I actually saw a vinyl victim. He did a response to it, and then I kind of followed that back to James' channel and saw the the video that he put up. So I thought it was a really cool question and just wanted to jump on board, put my two cents in after seeing a few different people do responses and um, yeah, just kind of go from there. So this is def definitely be one of those Mr. Hall of Fame ramble kind of videos, so be prepared. But it was a very simple question. When, where, and how do you listen to records? Um, I think the thing that drew me to do a response was um, after watching those videos, just kind of hearing, you know, in so many ways, like, so many of us as collectors and VC members and everything, we have so many similarities. And then it was also interesting just to really kind of hear some of the differences that that we had as well. So just it really made me kind of think a bit and analyze, you know, how I listen to records and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of jump in again, put my two cents based on my my experience with that. There is one thing I want to show you guys because this came through literally like 15 seconds before I hit the start recording button that one of my co-workers sent and I thought it was really kind of funny if I can get it so you can see it there he goes two things really drew me to the, <laughs> the expense and the inconvenience <laughs> I thought that was so funny uh, obviously he knows me pretty well but uh so anyway let's just kind of jump right into it when where and how do you listen to to records like uh, and he had a number of uh, kind of almost sub questions that he threw in there, so I kind of wanted to base my answers off of those. Uh, one question was, like, what time of day or is there a time of day that you tend to listen to records? There is absolutely no specific time or no specific day that um, I choose to listen to records. Um, you know, uh, John Techhead did a video not too long ago where he was talking about getting burnt out on vinyl and you know a lot of us did response videos to that and one of the things that I said in my response was you know as collectors I think sometimes we put too many rules on ourselves of you know how we purchase records how often we have to listen to records how we listen to a record and all of that and I think that's one thing I've definitely learned and I've adjusted with myself as, as a collector is that I've taken a lot of those rules off the table so uh, outside of a record needs to be cleaned and put in my database before it gets a sleeve and I like to listen to it before I put it away I don't want to put anything on the shelf that I haven't listened to outside of those two rules you know and you know, everything coming in in good condition but I mean outside of those rules I really don't have any rules on when and all that I listen to records so when it comes to what time of day or how many days a week or anything like that doesn't matter when I want to listen to a record I freaking listen when I don't I won't I will walk away from it and say screw it so that could be when I wake up first thing in the morning 7 a.m. or whatever it might be that day and I want to listen to a record I put it on if it's 2 30 in the morning and I'm watching something on TV and it just reminds me of a record or a song I want to hear I'll put it on and go listen to it so I, I really don't have any specific time or day or days I mean, I will say a lot of times, you know, most Saturdays, I usually don't have like a bunch of stuff booked up in the mornings on a Saturday. So I don't necessarily say that I put away time on Saturday to listen to records, but I will wake up sometimes on a Saturday kind of feeling, you know, like I have all of this time. I can do whatever it might be if it's if I want to clean and go through more records in my purge, if I want to listen to records, if I want to. You know, I do kind of like having that Saturday morning to just indulge in my collection or in my love of music, if you will, in whatever capacity that might be. But no, I don't have a set time for listening to records. Uh, where do you listen to records? Pretty much anywhere. <laughs> and I mean, not to sound like silly on that, but, you know, I live in a two bedroom place by myself and my main living area is a you know I have my couch and living area and then there's also my dining room table it's kind of one big room here 
then there's the kitchen and then there's two bedrooms so in my main living area in front of my couch with my TV and everything I have a turntable set up and then right behind me over here you know this is my dining room table you can kind of see right behind me I have a setup over here so you know just a few yards away from each other and then in my second bedroom I actually kind of use it as a listening room that's just all music stuff I have a turntable set up in there and then in my bedroom there's a turntable set up so maybe with the exception of my bathrooms there's a turntable in every single room so just I listen wherever I get the urge to listen and it's interesting because it typically really coincides with maybe what's going on with me musically at the time because if I look over the past three or four months something like that maybe five months you know going through this whole purge thing that I've been doing when I pull my records off the shelf I've been bringing them here to my bar and this is kind of where I stand or sit and clean them and swap them to the new sleeves and all that stuff and so this is where I've been doing a lot of my work and everything that's what even prompted me to put this setup over here so for the last few months I've been listening to vinyl on this setup more so than any place else even if I may be doing stuff in some other areas I've been playing this setup a lot more now if you would go five six months before that I was doing most of my listening vinyl wise in my music room if you go to when I first moved into this place I was doing most of my listening in my living room setup so it, it really just kind of you know depends on just what I'm feeling and you know I, I don't even think about it I just I just start naturally gravitating towards whatever so uh, that's where I listen it's just wherever I choose to listen at that point in time um, actually one other thing I'll put in a when it's about like where do you listen because this is one of the things that really stuck out to me uh, when watching other people's videos uh, there were a few people that talked about how they prefer not to listen to music as background music you know kind of ideally what they want to do is just to be able to you know sit and just focus on that album and take it in from front to back and really kind of you know give all their attention and and, uh, and really connect with with the album uh, now there are albums and there are listening sessions when I feel and do that same thing but oddly enough those are not my favorite listening sessions when it comes to listening to vinyl records and so forth you know for, for, for most people or the yeah I would say for a lot of people that express what I just shared there about wanting to focus on the album a lot of them talked about not really liking music being used as background music so you know for them if they are washing the dishes and or say cleaning reorganizing the shelf and the music's playing then it becomes background so they're not really focused on it and for whatever reason I kind of work just the the opposite way you know some of my favorite listening and music sessions are when I'm doing other things around the house and playing music at the same time because for me whenever music is playing it's always in the foreground like, like always no matter where I'm at so if I'm cleaning and reorganizing a shelf and music is playing music is not in the background music is in the foreground cleaning and organizing the shelf is in the background and so any type of projects or activities or things that don't require a lot of mental focus or anything of that nature I love listening to music while I'm, I'm doing that type of stuff. You know, again, cleaning, organizing a shelf, maybe rearranging my music room, and maybe that's why I do it so often. <laughs> you know, that type of thing. Uh, those are some of my favorite times to listen to music. And I've, I've kind of always been that way. You know, I remember back in school, and I'm sure a lot of you have probably experienced it. As a matter of fact, a lot of you probably can do this where you could put on headphones or turn on some music while you're studying and doing I can never for the life of me ever figure out how people could do that because if music is on whether it's low being played loud wherever the case may be especially not earphones but if it's playing I cannot focus on a single thing that is in this book like it, it just it won't happen 
because music always takes the foreground. If you're talking to me and need to have a very serious conversation about something and you know really needing me to connect and blah, don't have music playing while it's taking place because as much as I may try you are going to become the background the music is going to be the foreground it it always by pulling my ear it pulls like everything which is so weird because television is just the opposite I can have a serious conversation with you and watch television you know, I may be looking at the TV, but if someone asked me, what just happened in that scene two minutes ago? I was like, I have no idea. I was focusing on what they were saying. But you take away the TV and put music in there? I'm sorry, I missed what you said. I could not stop focusing on that song. <laughs> so, I, that's, it, it's, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. But, um, so anyway, in a lot of those situations where people would consider music as a background, that's actually a very good foreground thing for me. And I guess maybe it's something too about um, if, if I, when, when I go to bed at night, I, I'm one of those type of people that have to fall asleep with a TV on. You know, I, I can't go into a bedroom and just say, oh, it's bedtime, turn off the light, get in the bed, and eventually I'll go to, oh my gosh, like I'll sit there and, you know, I drive myself crazy. So I need like a television to kind of distract me until I'm just like, oh, when did that happen? Um, and so I think it's kind of the same way. I think sometimes if I just, if I sit too much and just try to focus on the music, little things may distract me a bit. But if I can find myself doing brainless things where maybe my body is active and doing whatever, but all my attention is focused here, um, I just I really embrace music that way and most people call that background music but again for me it's not so that that's definitely one way that I enjoy listening to music um, oh the NBA playoffs are on right now another good example you know whether it's NBA or the World Series or you know NHL whatever the case may be if I'm watching any of that that's another great time for me to listen to music put on the game turn off the volume you know, again, it's just kind of, I may be getting into a song, getting into an album, and I have to go, wait, I just missed something. What was that? And I'm like rewinding, even though I was looking at the TV the whole time, you know, music takes over. So, but, uh, so let me kind of move on to some of the other points or questions that were kind of thrown in there. Uh, how do you go about doing it? Uh, any way that I feel, uh, again, I, I just, I just really trust myself to go with what's going to make me happy with music right now and that's the attitude that that i take when listening to music uh, i think vinyl victim talked about and i totally agree with this when he talked about how you know when artists put together albums maybe not as much these days but definitely uh, back in the day you know they would really think about why track one was track one and why track two was track two and the order of the record from front to back and all of that and um, and I again I said I agree with him a lot there there's a lot to that and I like to embrace and take that in to get a feel for what that is but I don't put that before my own listening pleasure okay so like so when you say how do you go about doing that I will listen to a record in any way that I see fit at that moment that makes me extremely happy and enjoy that listening experience and that record so that could be I sit there and listen to everything from front to back or it could be I put the record on I skip to track one I go to track four I flip it over listen to track four then the record goes that has also been times when I put on track one listen to half of it put on track two and listen to half and then the record goes you know it's just like what was I desiring at that moment to make me happy and excited about just music, period? Because again, I'm focusing on me and not necessarily what the artist might want me to do at that point in time. Um, if I get in some of my real, you know, jam sessions, if you will, where I may spend, you know, or I, I may just look down and realize, oh, I just spent the last three or four hours listening to music and didn't realize it. Those are moments where I put a song on my iTunes. I go to a second song on my iTunes. In the middle of that second song on my iTunes, it reminds me of something I have on CD. I run into my bedroom and grab the CD, 
come back out, cue that up, I start playing the CD, that reminds me of something I have on vinyl that I want to listen to. I'll go grab the vinyl record, cue that up, as soon as the CD stops, I'm playing the, and like all of a sudden it's iTunes, iTunes, CD, vinyl, vinyl, iTunes, iTunes, vinyl, CDs, and it's just kind of, uh, I'm just jamming, whatever I'm feeling, whatever I'm grooving to, or whatever, I just kind of go with it. Um, and and that's, that's typically how I listen to music. And so sometimes that is, I want this whole album from front to back. Other times it's, I literally, I want this 90 seconds of this song is what I'm desiring and craving right now. It's what's got me pumped up and excited to listen to music at this very given moment in my life. I'm going to listen to that 90 seconds, period. <laughs> so uh, I've, I've just really grown to trust myself that way. And then what I've also kind of discovered is it allows you to listen to an album multiple times. Um, and I don't mean multiple times as in like I played it a bunch of times, but an album will come across as being very different if I listen to everything from front to back or if I go in and pinpoint the things that I want to listen to or if I'm just like in a total guitar solo moment and I'm just bouncing all over the place and now I'm just going in and checking out the guitar elements. I mean, that album is coming across different every single time. Even though it's the same piece of music that you've heard if you listen to the whole thing or just that piece. But it's when you're in different modes, different things hit you in different ways. At least in, in, my, in my experience. You know, so that, that same guitar solo that just really didn't stand out as much when you were just going through your whole I'm focusing on the whole album as opposed to that day when I was just focusing on guitar solos when I was bouncing around and all of a sudden I didn't realize that was just that you know so that's the other piece that I like about it, is that you can use an album and listen to an album in more than one way um, and I, 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 re I really, I mean, I'm not kind of overstressing that point, but I really think that's something that's missed a lot of time in music. Again, my personal opinion, you know, just because you know a song doesn't mean that you know a song, or just because you know an album doesn't mean you really know an album, because you can put it in different contexts, and the same part that you've known so well for so many years can come off completely different just because of your frame of mind at the time you decided to go to that piece. And it, I guess I'm kind of talking to myself in my experience. So, so anyway, again, I told you, Mr. Hall of Fame ramble coming here. And kind of the last piece we talked about here, um, do you listen typically with headphones? Do you like blasting your music? Do you, you know, so forth. Um, for the last five or six years, the two places I lived in, I've had neighbors, so I don't have the luxury of blasting music um, yeah so I mean I listen to everything kind of at moderate moderate volume always want to be very respectful of my neighbors um, you know actually my, my neighbor that that lives right here right next to me below me actually uh, you know very nice and we bump into each other in the hallway all the time and so every every few months or so I'll just kind of check in with her and just like you know hey have you heard my music is it something if you hear anything at all please let me know because I don't want to you know, make you have to deal with that, and she always says, no, this, everything's great, I haven't heard anything at all, so I, I keep everything pretty much at, at moderate levels, I'm not a big fan of headphones, uh, I do have some, but I just, I don't use them that often, and I don't know why, I guess I just don't enjoy, I, I don't know, I just, I'm just not a, a gigantic fan of headphones, so very seldom do I actually use headphones. Uh, let's see, and then those day of the week, we already kind of talked about that. So yeah, I guess that, I guess that kind of sums it up. Um, yeah, so when it comes to, you know, when, where, and how do I listen to records slash just music in general, that's kind of it in a nutshell. So uh, thanks for letting me ramble as always, guys. Uh, let me know what you think, and we will talk to you soon.